What is up, my dudes? I am here with my friend Julia. Say hi, Julia. Hello. And we're playing some Asagao Academy because I love 90% of the YouTubers in this game and I really wanted to play a dating sim and I dragged Julia into it, so <laughs> she's here. Yeah, uh, what did I get myself into? <laughs> this will be very interesting because we had a lot of technical issues going in. So, we will see how well this works out, uh, but in the meantime, we're going to just hit play and see what we can do. Let's go. Chapter 1 uh, I will do narration, I guess. The train made its way along the gentle curve of the coast of Japan whisking me farther and farther from home. Pretty sure it's supposed to be further. Maybe I'm just being dumb. I feel like I feel like further and further is what it's supposed to be. Anyways. I don't know grammar. Across from me sat a boy, face half buried in a, in a newspaper. See, I can't even read. Fine. Totally fine. He was deeply entranced in whatever article he was reading and hadn't spoken a single word to me, even when I asked if I could join him in the last compartment with any available space. He shrugged, nodded, and adjusted his newspaper without ever making eye contact. It, it had been almost an hour, in fact, and he hadn't once looked at me. Devoid of conversation, I, inst I took instead to counting the buttons on, on the pretentiously lush carmine seat cushions. One, two, three, twenty-one, twenty-two, I'm pretty sure that's not how you count, and so <laughs> forth over and over. Now and again, I turned to look out the window where the trees were blurring by. Sometimes the smeared green would break and reveal the quiet blue of the Sea of Japan. Eventually, this rapidity made my stomach churn, and I went back to counting the buttons on the seat cushions. One, two, three. The train compartment shuddered around us. Com yeah, compartment. Blah, blah. My eyes wandered to the boy in his jacket. It wasn't the school-issued blue that I and the other students on the train were wearing. Instead, it was a green, varsity-like jacket with an embroidered patch poorly sewn on front. Uh, I'll take this, I guess. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll pick characters and we'll go with it. Uh, I don't... I, I think this is supposed to be Jared. I think this is pro-Jared. I think so, too. I, I'm so I'm so terrible at remembering. Oh well. Uh, I'm not gonna try to impersonate him because I will be super <laughs> offensive. <laughs> uh, so you're a first year then. He folded his newspaper neatly, set it in his lap, and looked at me with a half interested gaze. Did he just catch me staring? Now that the paper was gone, I saw his face. He watched me through heavy lidded eyes. His hair was immaculately groomed, his teeth straight and blindingly bright. There was something about him, the way the light hit him, that made him look like he was almost sparkling. <laughs> this is great. I like the added sparkles. <laughs> yeah, it's like getting little sparkles around him. <laughs> He's just so immaculate. Okay, you do Hannah. You, I'll be the, the narration, like, brain voice of Hannah. You can be the actual speaking voice of Hannah. All right. Me? He glanced around the compartment, empty besides us, besides us, and laughed. Oh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> no, I'm not a first year. I'm a third year. The train began to slow, metal wheels groan, groaning against metal tracks. The sudden shift threatened to rob me of whatever was left in my stomach, but I closed my eyes and took a deep breath, willing myself to keep it together. 
What kind of impression would I leave, puking on a student before I even arrived at the academy? The boy frowned. I picked at the hem of my cotton skirt. That's not possible. I've never seen you before. It took me a moment of mouth fishing to find a response. <laughs> mouth fishing? All right. I, uh, it's because I'm a transfer student? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark, yeah. Uh, not so sure, I Am guess. I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed again. A transfer student, huh? We don't get many of those. I removed my acceptance letter from the front pocket of my uniform. The paper, heavy, heavyweight, off-white, had accumulated creases from my reading and rereading, as if the words might have changed since the last time I read it. Man, she knows her paper. <laughs> yeah, it's like the details. She knows the fine <laughs> detail of it. The boy took it, studied it, and then handed it back to me. Well then, Hannah, I suppose I'll be seeing you around. He smiled at me as he picked up the suitcase lying next to him. By the time I hiccuped a response, he was already gone from the compartment. I stared out into the empty hallway of the train. It was then that I realized he, having gotten it from my acceptance letter, knew my name, and I never got his. It's Jared. It's totally Jared. <laughs> Spoilers. The train settled at the station and I filed out with the rest of the uniformed students. It was early April and the last frost of winter had come and gone. This music is chill as fuck. It is. <laughs> the trees were already green, their leaves shivering in the occasional gust weaving through them. The air was mild, only a few clouds hanging in the sky. I walked along the road with the swarm of blue jacketed bodies, looking at the little groups breaking off from the crowd. Everyone was buzzing so animatedly around me. I held my suitcase tight in my sweaty hands. It was leather bound and worth more than anything it contained. It wasn't far to the school and I was, for maybe the first time in my life, thankful that what I owned didn't amount to much. Does she think she's going to get mugged? I don't maybe. Know. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I don't have anything of import on me. Oh. <laughs> My school-issued black Oxfords click, click, clicked on the pavement. I walked this walk over and over in my mind. So many nights I lay awake imagining what it would be like to walk from the train station to Asagawa Academy in this first time. This first time. Blah. My new start. I always imagined that everything would change for me on this walk that somehow everything would be magically different. But as I looked around, I realized nothing had changed. I hadn't changed. By the time I reached the massive gate to the academy, I forgot all about the disappointment slouching in the back of my throat. The school, framed by the gate, twisted black metal, was just as beautiful as the glossy photos I saw in its pamphlets. This was it. Asagao Academy. I glanced around, the swarm of students gathered around the gate. Beyond it, tiny blue people bounced around the academy's main building. A girl pressed a button to one side of the gate. The excitement in the air was almost palpable. A few moments later, the black gate, with great effort, creaked outwards and cleared the pathway. As the rest of the group shifted into motion, I followed along, a sheep in the herd. Ah, uh, sheeple. Sheeple. <laughs> My stomach tied itself into knots. I, I feel this girl so much. I have I have terrible social anxieties, and I'm just... This character. Oh my gosh, Hannah. <laughs> the crowd split off in different directions. For a moment, I panicked. A tired-looking man with graying hair called out for first years. A cluster of fresh-faced students gathered around, gathering around him. Tall boy. <laughs> hey, hey, look at that girl. I turned a few feet away. A small group of boys were pointing at me and snickering. Pink hair, are you kidding me? Oh, no, it was a posh boy. Oh, posh boy? You, you be posh boy. <laughs> Pink hair, are you kidding me? How desperate can you get? Hot shame crawled down my neck. What? Jerk bag. So hot. <laughs> Ooh, hot shame. <laughs> <laughs> I attached myself to a group of girls following a few steps behind them. 
In the distance, cicadas hummed in time to my shoes crunching against gravel. My hair... It wasn't my fault that my hair looked like this. Okay, I don't... I don't know her backstory, but I'm pretty sure if you dye your hair pink, <laughs> like, that's your fault. Anyways. Well, but she's the main character. Hey, don't They all ever... have pink hair. I love pink hair. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I love dyed hair. I recently dyed my oh, hair. Oh, I, I do too. But... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe her mother, like, forced her to a salon and got her hair dyed. I've seen worse, so... I don't know. Luckily, Lost I found... Huh? What? Oh, just, just maybe she lost a bet. Oh yeah, that's a possibility. <laughs> In her drunken uh, sorority parties at her last <laughs> school. <laughs> Luckily, I found myself at the girls' dormitory. A large sign in the lawn reading Primrose House. The building dwarfed me in size and sheer intimidation. How many students did Asagao have? As I approached the building, a red-headed girl lingering nearby caught my attention. I looked away, then looked back. She was staring at me. She walked over. <laughs> Can we date her? <laughs> <laughs> She's hot. We should date her. Um, <laughs> the, actually, in that opening video, it shows them, like, staring at each other, like, in bed. I'm like, that looks... Like, <laughs> I know they're supposed to be best friends There's or something. There's gotta be but, some kind of lesbian experience. Yeah, it's like, that definitely looks like a weirdly, oh. like, lesbian thing. Because they, they were looking lovingly into each other's eyes. Okay, uh, do you want to take this one? Uh, sure. Um, you must be my roommate. I eyed her warily. She she was smiling and bouncing in a way that suggested her views on life were akin to a perpetual bouncy castle. Akin. Akin. A <laughs> <laughs> wow. Akin. Oh my goodness. That's <sighs> a weird thing to notice, though. She is like this. She's girl. at her boobs. Are her boobs bouncing? I, maybe uh, that's it. She's just staring at her boobs. No, I that this girl is a an author. Like this, uh, Hannah is an author because everything she sees, she's just like going through details in her mind. This is insanity. Okay, her boobs were akin to a perpetual bouncy castle. Anyways, <laughs> me. Of course, you silly. Let me guess. Room third three twenty five. How do I letter? Number. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Figured out. I thought back to the paper I received a month prior with a list of all the supplies I needed for the year and my dorm arrangements. Um, yeah, that's right. She laughed, but I couldn't figure out what was so funny. Was she laughing at me? Yes. <laughs> God, God you freak. Not my roommate... Sorry. What? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, when I found out my roommate was a transfer student, I knew you were going to be a total main character. Pink hair! <laughs> Dude, yeah. Total main character. Because we're t totally not in a video game. <laughs> I'm sorry, dot dot dot. A what? So many question marks. When I saw you outside the gate... I knew it was you. I mean, look at that hair! I felt a lump forming in my throat. What was she talking about? Not your hair. <laughs> she had to be making fun of me. I hadn't spent more than five minutes on campus and I was already being mocked. Okay. Fun fact about me, people. I was homeschooled right up until high school. And I had a very similar experience. I had basically been told by my dad how terrible high school was. I love you, Dad. Uh, but he basically told me how <laughs> terrible high school was and how mean people could be and everything. And I was terrified. I really wanted to go to public school, but I was terrified. Um, and for the first year, I had people, you know, being friendly to me like people do generally. And I just was convinced that everybody was picking on me. So I absolutely Aww. relate. I, 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 I mean, I got past it. Um, people just had to be very on it, like very specific with me and be like, I'm not making fun of you, Nate. I'm giving you a compliment. Smile. It's okay to take a compliment. And I'd be like, Oh, Oh, okay. So no, but I, I completely, I understand this character so much. <laughs> you main character. You, I'm such a main character. If only I had pink hair. My hands began to tremble. Is 
is something is there something wrong with my hair question mark so many question marks her face slackened from its amused smile to a more worried expression yep seen that before <laughs> uh -huh. then she began to laugh again no no it's great I'm sorry we're getting off on the wrong foot aren't we I don't know how to say that name. My May? Sasaki? My? I think it's I think it's I My. My okay. Sasaki. I'm My Sasaki. You must be Hannah. I bowed my head. It's nice to meet you, My. All your school books are waiting in our room with your welcome letter. Letter. <laughs> <laughs> and I read the envelope. Read in my mail. I hope you're not mad. Yeah, that's kind of like, oh, thanks for just, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Mai started walking toward the dorm's front doors. I followed behind like a lost puppy. Did you check it at the front desk already? No, I didn't. I didn't know I was supposed to. <sighs> so much text. <laughs> <laughs> Good. They'll offer you. They'll offer to have a staff member give you a tour of the campus, but I can show you around. We don't get many transfer students in year three, you know. It's funny that she closes her eyes when talking. <laughs> oh, is that your only bag? Just the one? I'm glad I brought an extra bag of stuff to decorate our room with. I started already. I hope you don't mind. This girl would drive me up the wall. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'd be like, why? Why are you taking over my space? <sighs> but I didn't wait to strain the lights. I thought we could do that together, you know? Well, that was nice, at least. Yeah. She, she spoke quickly, the words bubbling from her mouth, and left me no time to answer until the end of her monologue. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. She held the front door open for me, and I hurried inside. All right, uh, that looks like a great stopping point. So don't forget, guys, uh, check out Asagao Academy because it's fun. It's actually free. Um, or if you want to hold off on that, you could just watch it because we're playing it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, show my friend Julia some love in the comments. I didn't say where where I knew her from earlier, but she is. I'm I'm in small town Missouri right now, and she's my friend from way out in California. So she's awesome. Show her some love in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Do all the socials. I will talk to you guys next time.